Hi babes, I had several requests for a much slower super beginners crochet tutorial, so here you go. So the yarn you need for this project looks like this. It is called size four yarn, and you can actually check the packaging to see what size yarn you're working with. And I'll also tell you what size knitting needles and crochet hook you need, as well as the grams, which is the amount of yarn you would need for a project. A bigger yarn like this one will have a higher number in the packaging. For example, this is size six yarn, for which you will need a bigger crochet hook. So if your project calls for 120 yards of yarn, you need three of these. Now let's talk crochet hooks. We are using a size five hook and here's an example of a size five and a half hook and if you put them side to side you can actually see the five and a half is a little bit bigger. The bigger the number the bigger the hook. Now the first thing you do for this project is you make a slip knot. Basically loop it around your fingers and then draw another loop up through the first one. Boom slip knot. Put that sucker on your hook and pull it tight. Now let's talk how to hold your yarn. I like to put it over my pinky, under my two middle fingers, and over my index finger. This will help you keep your yarn nice and tense and the tenser your yarn is the prettier your curve crochet will be. Now for the chain, you're going to put your hook behind your yarn and use the hook part to drag it through the loop you have already on your hook. I said hook three times. Oh my god. Now listen, listen very carefully. Always count your stitches. You need five for this one, okay? Okay. You're going to slip stitch the first stitch into the last stitch, which you do by putting your hook through both loops and then drawing another loop through the two of them. Now chain one, speaking of which, let's pause for a second. Screenshot this. These are your crochet abbreviations. All patterns use abbreviations, so you're going to see these everywhere might as well have a nifty little cheat sheet for them. Okay, moving on. You are going to single crochet twice in each loop around. To do that, you're going to put your hook under the first loop, draw some yarn through, draw some yarn through the two loops on your hook. See, we're basically making a little knot here. Now, once you've done 10 of those all around, I want you to count them. Count them. Now, slip stitch the first loop to the last loop like we just did with the first round. Chain three, okay? Can I just mention at this point, you are doing so fucking amazing. I had to learn crochet I know how hard it is. Gold starts all around. It is triple crochet time. Don't get nervous. We can do this. Wrap your yarn around your hook twice. Put it through that same loop. Wrap your yarn around your hook again. Draw it through two loops at a time on your hook until there's only one left. It takes three times. That's why it's called triple crochet. It's not very ingenuitous. Ingenuitous? Never mind. You do that twice in the same space so you count three. And now it's time to move on to the double crochet. Wrap your yarn around your hook once. Stick it through the next space. Wrap your yarn around your hook. Pull it through. And then and pull it through two loops at a time until there's one left only twice again that's why it's called double crochet we're not original over here for this pattern you're going to do that twice in a loop and then move on to your half double crochet to do that wrap your yarn around your hook and stick it through and then wrap it around again but now pull through all three loops on your hook at once and that my dear babes is the last stitch you will need to learn for this project i think unless i'm wrong in which case don't hold me to that okay okay so when you're done you do three treble crochets in the last stitch and then you slip stitch the first with the last again and it is time to tie off. Just cut your yarn with a couple of inches to spare and then put that yarn through the last loop you did and you are done! I am so proud of all you guys who decided to do this with me. Bye!